Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, uh, very good evening. This is a, a session that I have uh, designed to help uh, all of the CS 510 students, especially to uh, perform the assignment and also to prepare for the practical test. Okay. So, however, uh, I will limit my session here uh, to coach you. Uh, on how to solve a problem using Octave <coughs> based on bisection methods. Okay, so so I will uh, use the approach of uh, problem based learning where you are given a problem and from this problem we will try to learn how to solve the questions. Yeah? So, so that you have some kind of uh, preparations for your assignments and also for your uh, practical tests. Okay, so this uh, is a problem taken from, uh, from the open channel problem. Okay. So if you uh, remember, open channel uh, section like this, will will have certain value of depth that we call as as a critical depth of that channel so the water will flow with a certain quantity of q inside this channel and at certain depth uh, which is we call it as critical depth the engineer have to determine it so in this problem uh, in this trapezoidal channel okay the water is flowing through this channel by the rate of Q, 20 meter Q per second. And uh, there is a formula that has been set up, which is equal to one minus Q square divided by the gravity multiplied by the cross section Q and multiplied by the width of the channel. Okay. So this is the equation that we use to solve the problem. And uh, it is given that the parameter G, which is the gravity, is given by 9.81. And the cross section area of the channel is given by this formula. So you don't have to uh, perform any derivations. So AC is equal to 3 times Y plus Y square over 2. And uh, <clears throat> the expression for the width here is equal to 3 plus Y. So uh, in this problem number one, you are required to solve the critical depth, which is y, the parameter y, either to uh, by using bisection method and interruption method. Again, I want to emphasize that in this uh, coaching tutorial, I will only discuss about bisection method. And the stopping criterion is that epsilon s, which is the specified error, uh, will be set to be one percent okay so if this is the question so what how we want to tackle this problem okay so we proceed to the next slide okay how to start to solve the problem so we'll stop it by step by step okay, so that we can tackle the problem so smoothly and you'll be able to find the solution okay, especially by using Octave. Okay, first of all, in any question, you must understand the problem. That is the first uh, step that you should do in order to solve the problem. So, how do you want to understand the problem? So, first of all, you have to understand the given equations and also analyze from the, the question, what are the given values? Okay, this is step 1A. Soon after that, uh, if you have already understand the equation and also uh, understand what are the values given, you have to convert the equation given to this form where the form is fx is equal to zero and x here will be the unknown or the, the solution that you want to find using bisection methods. So your equation must be equal to zero. This is the form that you should uh, develop. Okay. 
after you perform step number one, then you have to know what is the parameter needs to be solved. So if you uh, remember, the parameter that you want to solve in this problem is the critical water depth, which is y. Okay. And there is only one parameter only. So in your syllabus CES 5.3, we just only want you to solve only one parameter. Okay. So in this case, as I said before, the parameter that you want to solve is Y, which is the critical depth of the trapezoidal channel. And the third step, you have to extract from the questions, okay, uh, or you have to perform trial and error or sketch the graph in order to determine the lower, which is your XL, and the upper gas, which is XU, of the problem so that you can perform your bisection methods. Okay, so these are the three main steps that you can commonly use in order to solve any problems related to this topic. Okay. Okay, as I uh, just want to summarize, step number one, we have to uh, identify what are the correct equation that you will use. So this is the equation given from the questions where relating the quantity of flow with the gravity, with the cross-sectional areas of the channel and the width of the channel. Okay, step 1a. And step 1b is to identify what are the given parameters, eh? the, the other parameters. So maybe from here, you have to know what is AC. So AC is given in these expressions. And your width of the channel is given by the expression. And Q are given to be 20 meter cube per second. And the gravity is commonly known as 9.81 meter per second squared. Eh? So this is step 1a. Eh? Okay, step one, uh, step two, you have to, oh sorry, step one A, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you have to convert this equation to FH or FX equal to zero. Okay, so I have to change that equation in this form where FY equals to zero. Okay. So I will substitute the corresponding Q value to this Q, okay, before we perform that. This G, I will substitute to this G parameter. The same thing goes to your AC. And also the last one will be your B. So you will arrive to these equations where this equation is your FY. Okay? The whole thing here is your FY. And this equation must be equal to zero, as you can see that in this circle. So any problem you must convert in this manner, where Fy is equal to zero. So in this case, our Y is the unknown, which is the critical depth that we want to find. Okay. And uh, there is one tip here. So if you uh, substitute your Q here, so you don't have to uh, uh, calculate 20 squared. You just put like this and you will ask Octave to perform this conversion for us. Okay? So you may see that I will not simplify this expression. I put it in this manner. Okay? So I just substitute only. So you don't have to simplify this because we will ask Octave to perform it. So you don't have to simplify this expression. And step 1b, so you have already your Fy. As I said before, this is your Fy. Your Fy. And must be equated to 0. Okay. And your y there, will, uh, as circled by the, uh, by the dotted Read lines are the unknowns that you want to find by using bisection methods. Okay, that will be your step number two. Step number three. Okay, step number three, uh, the next step is to identify what 
are your lower gas value, which is your YL, and your upper gas value, which is your YU. Yeah? So that when you multiply FX, FYU, and with the FYL, your answer will be less than zero. Okay, step number three. So, in order to help us, it is good or it is advisable you may use your Microsoft Excel to plot our graph. Okay, to plot our graph where the graph is your FY. Okay, you plot from certain value of X, or sorry, from certain value of Y. So, I'm using here from Y from 0 until 2. Okay, and when I plot it, you may see that this graph will be intersecting with this line where this line is your x-axis and from that uh, intersection you may determine what is the actual roots okay? the actual value of y that you want to find which is uh, maybe 1.5 something so, by using this, by using this sketch or by using this graph, I can identify candidates for Y lower. So, maybe I will use my uh, value here, which is this one, as your Y lower, which is 1. And another value of Y here, which is 2, to be your y upper why i'm using this value because if you see carefully f y l will be a negative value okay? because this is a negative value f y u is a positive value because the graph is on the top so you have sign changes so meaning that your the selection of your y l to be one and why you to be two is okay. So you may use your Excel or maybe your calculator to check whether there is sign changes and you may plot and you can determine the candidates of your Y lower and Y upper. Okay. So in this case, meaning that I have found a root within this range which is, this is from 1 until 2, because I know the exact root will be somewhere, uh, which is uh, almost 1.5 something, okay? Okay, so how to use your octave code, okay? and how to adjust your bisection octave code? So I will only adjust certain parameters only, which is YL is equal to 1, y u is equal to 2 your functions your the, the definition of your functions and also my epsilon s so these are the main parameter that you will change in the given divide section methods in the lecture okay so we will see on the next slide what are the changes that i have done to the uh, optic program So the, this is the code that have been given to you before and I have highlighted the adjusted parameters or adjusted code by red markers. Okay, so this statement will be the same. You don't have to change. However, this statement you have to change because your function of your Y is, will be different. Okay? And you have also to change this epsilon one your YL have to be changed. Uh, previously, I think this is your XL, but now I'm using YL because our parameter is Y, not X. So your YU is given to be two. So that are the changes that to be uh, adjusted. And I will change also this part because this will be FYL, 
the previous given code is fxl okay so also will change this okay. i will change uh, uh depending on the problem because we are try to find the critical depth so i put here no critical depth will be found if sign to one is less than zero and sign one is less than zero sorry however if sign one is more than zero there is no uh, critical depth so i will change this okay and uh, the the heat of the title also i have to change and this part also i have to change because i'm using y similarly for this sign two okay this part also i have to change accordingly and this is also to be changed the rest with the uh, black color marker is not to change okay? unchange you have to change also this okay? this part and also some of this okay so that's how you change your original code so you don't have to modify the whole thing you have to know some part of it that you want to change okay so that will be uh, minimize your time to do your assignment and also your practical test later on and uh, i will in, uh, include here the outputs so this is the output so uh, maybe this part it will be not the same if you run the code because i write my own codes a bit different so i put some kind of uh what call this some kind of uh notifications eh? so i will put success because i have already found the roots there is a positive one feature there and then i thanks to the programmer because they have done a good job so good job bro okay and maybe this is the whole thing will be the same okay so you can see that uh it is almost like the previous program but i adjusted it so that it will uh, suit with my given problem okay so i i hope you are satisfied with this video and if if you have any problem you may whatsapp to me or you can call uh directly me in order to help you on uh, your assignment okay hopefully thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh